Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his guy, his guy is a bona fide beer night So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad and Friends Beer Reviews. We've got Jay, also known as JJ Rudy Forty One. Hello, everybody. And uh, we're finishing up the Saranac Twelve Beers of Winter Mix Pack, which I started like right around Thanksgiving. And I've been waiting for Jay to come over and help me drink this one. This is the Maple Porter. Um, if you saw when I drank this with uh, Reynolds Floss and uh, Brett Vanderbrook, we really liked it. And but it, I only had a third of a bottle, so I like to drink an entire bottle to see what I think of it. And I think for me, when I looked at their twelve beers of winter, there were one or two that I said oh, I'd like to try out, but this was the only one that really struck my interest just based on the description. So that's kind of why why you saved this one particularly for me. Yeah. Right. Saranac Maple Porter is a robust, flavorful porter reminiscent of a bygone era. True to brewing tradition, we've used dark caramel and chocolate malt, as well as Fuggles and East Kent Golding's hops for a smooth yet slightly bitter roasted flavor. Look for hints of maple syrup flavoring you maple syrup flavoring used in this delicious different brew. Enjoy. So Just maple syrup flavoring, I wonder yeah. if that means it's not real maple syrup. I, that's what I would think. I would think so. That's usually the way it goes. It does I, say all natural flavors in the bottom, yeah. but that doesn't mean that the maple's natural. Everything is natural. <laughs> I'm using an oversized red wine glass just for the hell of it. And I'm going to use the Guinness Porter glass. I thought that was the right way to go since it is a porter. Yeah. And I, it's funny you said Fuggles. I've always called it Fugles, so... <laughs> I'd imagine you're probably the right in pronunciation. I think it's um, a brown with a reddish or orange tint towards the bottom. I don't yeah. know if you're getting that. I'm getting the ruby red down here. Yeah, mine is a little bit more on the orange side. Yeah, I think it's just from the shape of the glass. Probably. And as far as head, well, yours died, but I got a three, four finger head and nice and fluffy right on the top. Yeah, that's all the more beer for me, though. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I like drinking that part, so. This has that scent, it's similar to the caramel pour, almost like that butterscotch, that like kind of confectionery yeah. sweetness. It's not a candy sweetness, it's like that, it's like a rich, all natural sweetness. I, I, I do smell the chocolate malt in it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't smell like maple syrup though. I wonder if I'll be able to taste it. I, you know, I did when I drank it with Brett and Brent, so. Ready to dive in? Let's give it a try. Cheers. Hmm, you do get the, it's like, it's exactly what it says, it's like, it's mapley and a little chocolatey. You know, this one Especially is, in the aftertaste. Um, the front I get is the chocolate malt. The finish, I taste maple syrup a lot, actually. To me, it tastes kind of like, like pancakes, like with syrup. Yeah, like choc chocolate chip pancakes. That would be an awesome, I couldn't think of a better food pairing with this, would just be like... Just go to IHOP and get some chocolate chip pancakes to go. And what's good is the maple flavoring is in the finish, not up front, which is good because when the last thing you taste is the maple, that's what's going to linger around the most. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I, that's actually pretty nice. The only thing I would say on the negative side, it is a little thin. It doesn't yeah. feel full bodied. No, that's it, what I was going to say. There's a definitely, it's kind of thin in the mouth. It's, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's watery. It's just a little thinner than you might expect. It, it was thinner than I expected, yeah. I was thinking it was going to be porter, it was going to be a little bit more rich, but, but the, it has got a good flavor. And uh, the, the description of saying, you know, maple and chocolate, you know, is pretty right on. I don't taste any caramel, though, do you? Mm, it's almost, I'd say it's more like a butterscotch kind of thing. Yeah. Um, you really do taste that maple. It's, it's a little bit bitter on the back end, a little dry. But yeah, because like the sweetness is like really so pronounced, um, it's a real, as far as the palate, it's like really, really tasty. Yeah, you, you're not going to be upset with the flavor in this. I think it's just a matter of what you expect. I think I, I wouldn't call this a, like I could almost not call this a porter because of the thinness in it, but uh, 
Yeah. But uh, the flavor is is, is, is is pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the flavor a lot. I would call this like quite the best of the best, but no. I still like their caramel porter better than this. I, I like this better than the caramel porter. But um, for Saranac, I think this is probably one of their better beers. Yeah. Since I've already had this beer before and I really liked it when I just had a sampling of it, um, I already knew what to expect and it's it hasn't changed at all and it's only been two months. This is like a very it's a great dessert beer, like it at like a lot of those chocolate stuffs that we've had. And we forgot to mention that it's only five point three percent alcohol by volume. So it's like it's it's only like a medium body at best. It's pretty drinker friendly too. Yeah. Like you can easily drink yeah. four or five of them and you're not gonna go oh, home yeah, fall totally. off the floor. But I, I liked it overall. I think it's you know, the drinkability is outstanding and the taste is really satisfying. It's you know, it's just not quite as as Jay said, like full body, because it does finish a little weak, a little like I guess a little watery, I guess. Yeah. Um but you know uh but that, everything being said is that it, it was a it's one of their better beers. Oh, absolutely. So it's like when I'm when we're when we're when we're picking on the fact that it's a little thin, we're right. saying that's what's stopping it from being a really really great beer. Yeah. And it's bringing it down a little bit of a notch because of that. Right. And you know, we may differ what our score may be, but we both agree that's the only thing that's stopping it from saying, "Hey, this is a great beer." Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna go pretty high on this. I'm still, I'm still gonna say nine. Nine. I'm saying it's excellent. So that you're gonna give it a score of, in my world, an excellent was like the second highest thing you can get. Yeah, me too. Real quick, so. I thought it had a really intense chocolate malt flavor to it, malty and chocolatey. Right. Um, and the finish was a real, like. I doubt, without a doubt, like maple maple syrup or like pancakes with maple yeah. on them. That's yeah. what the finish is, which is good because that lingers around. The negative is it is a little thin in the body. Yeah. And because of that, I have I was debating whether I want to call this a good or a very good beer, but I think I'm going to settle on a good beer and call it a good beer. Just plain good. Just plain good. Uh, it, it's a good beer. I just don't think it's anything that's going to blow me away. And I'm I'm satisfied with it. Yeah. And I think Saranac made themselves a good beer here, but I'm not gonna go rush and tell everybody, hey, you gotta try the maple porter. And I think that's why I won't call it a very good. Well, if this came in six packs, would you buy a six pack? Of I would. It? I would. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's a great dessert beer without the girth of your like southern tiers or dogfish heads types. It's like, you know, maybe you don't want to drink a 10% ABV beer, nice 5.3. Yeah. Well, do ya. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.